All right, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video here on the channel. And today, man, we are going back to the roots again. We are going back to one of the, I would say, fan favorites in terms of what types of videos that I do here on the channel. You can tell by the title already, man, exactly what we're gonna be getting into today. And I gotta tell you, this is one of my favorite lineups in terms of the uh, pickup lines, I guess, that were kind of thrown out here. These are some classics, man. Like, I I've read through a lot of these ones already, and I was smoking on the couch the other night, and I was figuring all this out for this video, bro, and I'm not gonna lie. Some of these had me completely fucked up, bro. Like, it it'll blow your mind what people actually send. And, like, they're, they're serious, too. Th these are people, most of the time at least, who are actually trying right like they they're really trying to pull or like you know there there's that girl that they like or whatever this is their shot that they're shooting type shit so today we are going to take a look at some absolutely fucking pathetic messages man so with that being said make sure you leave a like on this video to show some support man i love doing these types of videos and i know everybody usually really likes these videos they usually get a lot of good feedback from you guys Make sure you let me know what you think about this down below in the comments as well, too. And with that being said, let's go ahead and get into the madness. My last and final message is, I'm not being funny, but I like all of your pictures. And I react to all your snaps. And it's rude that you never reply. I'm a good looking. I used to be a pro footballer. I'm loyal. And I'm not bothered about the extra pounds you're packing. What? It's all a bit sus. I could actually do a lot better than you looks wise too, but you're blanking me? I even treated you on your Amazon wish list, but still no reply? Always the nice guys that get ignored. Fuck you. Look like a dude anyway. Alright, so let's just go ahead and, and let's set some ground rules here real quick, okay? First and foremost, if you're gonna fucking, like, go out of your way to, like, flirt with this girl or, like, you're gonna try and pull or whatever, right? I don't really think you're gonna have a very good chance of getting what you want uh, uh, basically making a fucking idiot out of yourself, right? Like, insulting her. I'm not bothered about the extra pounds you're packing. I could do a lot better than you looks wise. You look like a dude. Like, what the fuck did you think she was going to respond with, bro? Like, after all of this, after this whole fucking meltdown here, right? That she was just going to respond like, hey, sorry, I realize my worth now. You are, you're, you're better than me. You're just better than me in every way. I can't, please let me suck it right now. Like, what did you think was going to happen, bro? I don't know. I used to be a pro footballer. I, I don't believe him for some reason that he was a fucking pro footballer, okay? I just don't believe that, so... And, and also, just to kind of really seal the deal here, you, quote, treated her on her Amazon wish list, right? She has that Amazon wish list so that the simp, goofball-ass dudes who don't have a chance with her will try and get a chance with her by buying her shit that she wants, right? So she's using you to buy her shit, and you thought that that was like a W for you. I, I don't know, man. Honestly, you had, you had all that coming to you, bro. Ha, huh, yeah, it got pretty cold. Had to pull out the windshield scraper this morning. I could have helped you. Yeah, I appreciate it, but I'm so far away. It'd be quicker to just do it myself. Plus, you save gas money. Um, okay. I was just trying to be nice. Yes, and I appreciate it. Thank you. I feel like you don't mean that. You never give me a chance at anything, whether it's scraping the ice off your vehicle or taking you to dinner. I'm glad your fiancé died. Wow, bro. Like... I, it's always like, I don't know, these are the people who are like, man, why the fuck can't a nice guy like me get a girl, bro? Like, why don't the girls like the nice guy like me? Like, dude, you're not actually a nice guy. You just base the fake kindness that you show this girl on whether or not she's giving you attention back. And when she's not giving you attention back, you're a complete fucking asshole, bro. Like, that is insane. I can't lie. I'm glad your fiance died. Like, hey, remember that person you loved so much that you were willing to marry them and then they fucking died prematurely ha lol i don't know whether or not that's based or cringe uh you know it's cringe i was fucking that's cringe man i'm the closer thursday it's gonna be lit notice this went completely unanswered uh and then a couple days later yo i have a hilarious joke do you want to see my big white sausage just say yes i promise it's not actually my dick also it's okay if you don't want to see the punchline. And then it's just a picture of this guy holding a fucking big Bob Evans sausage at work. All right, I I I'll say this, okay? At least he wasn't being fucking malicious like these other couple dudes were, right? Like, at least it wasn't also a unsolicited picture of his cock. I mean, that would have been pretty bad, right? Like, but I will say, 
hey man, you're not getting any responses. That's kind of a, a cringe joke to send somebody that's kind of unsolicited, right? Like, you probably just kind of made her think you're a little bit of a fucking psychopath, but hey, you know what? At least you weren't being an asshole, okay? I'll give him that. At least it was just a little weird and it wasn't also malicious, so I can do by you whatever you want. I only ask one thing. Don't be a fucking bitch like my bitch ex-wife who tricked me into not using a condom and then stole children from me a few years later. If you will be like my bitch ex-wife, fucking bitch, that one, then I am not going to be happy with you. Sorry, I had to vent. Back to our conversation. What's your address? I'd like to send you stuff on my mother's wish list because I know women like that stuff, question mark? Hey, dude, I, I, um, I don't think you should be on Tinder. I think you should be in a fucking therapist's office, bro. Like, what the fuck? Like, dude, out of nowhere. Like, imagine that I can't, I'm just trying to imagine this in person, right? Like, you're just sitting with this guy at the bar, like, you're two strangers, right? You know, you both buy the same fucking drink and realize it or whatever. You take your cheers together, right? You take your shot back. You start making your small talk. You're like, hey, man, so how you been? What, what's been going on with you, man? I was a stupid fucking bitch in my life, man. Took my kids. She doesn't love me anymore. Like, I, like, come on, man. You're, you're hurting me at this point, bro. And I don't even know you. Also, wh why would you send her stuff on your mother's wish list, man? As if, like, just because she's a woman, they have the same exact interests or whatever. I don't know, man. Like, the, it just the whole thing is a fucking L. This dude needs to be in a therapist's office. He needs to fucking talk to his lawyer or something. Thanks. I've always been a kind and loving person. I feel that I may have, in some odd way, contributed to her tragic demise. I would have attended her services and perhaps consoled her mother or sister. I can only hope she is now in a better place and at peace with herself. She had such a beautiful body, a slender waist with a tight abdomen. Her height and weight were very erotic to me. I hope she didn't think I was a sexual deviant. All I wanted was to be a sexual deviant, bro. Like, this woman is fucking dead, you know what I mean? And not only does this guy openly say, I think I contributed to her demise, he then goes on to start horny posting in text about this dead woman. This woman just got in a fucking, I don't, like a car wreck, I don't know, right? It's dead, whatever it may be. Tragic loss, right? Family's devastated. This dude's out here texting everybody. Yeah, her height and weight were very erotic to me. Hopefully she didn't think I was a sexual deviant. Like, bro, y you sound like a lunatic, man. Like, what the fuck are you saying? Why are you saying this right now? Dude, I'm telling you, some people, bro, should just have like a digital muzzle put on them, right? Like, some people should have like a federal government mandated like permanent parental control lock on their phone that just stops them from like doing anything except turning it off and on. Cause like, why the fuck would you, I don't get it, man. Why would you say this? Hello, ma'am. I would really appreciate it if you would open up your anal cavity and take a picture with the flash and send me the unedited results. Please send ASAP as the research I am conducting on anal sphincter tumor growth could save a life. Thank you and God bless, heart emoji. This has to count as sexual harassment, right? Like, this can't just be, like, something you can fucking legally text somebody, correct? Like, br like, br oh my god. I, so, first off, let, okay, there's two ways this could go. Either he was kidding or he wasn't kidding, right? If he wasn't kidding, he needs to be locked the fuck up. Like, they need to put a fucking, like, they need to chain his hands and feet together and put him in a cell. If he was just kidding... He needs to be put on medication and constantly monitored to make sure he does not say anything like this ever again. I, I, I'm fucking done. Like, dude, whoever sent this message, if you're seeing this video, I want you to know I wish bad on you, bro. I wish fucking bad on you, bro. I want you to be my wife and my love. Do you agree? You look like an innocent child to me. I loved you. Bro, what? The fuck do you mean she looked like an innocent child to you, bro? Get your ass in the fucking cell. Somebody lock him up right now. Hey, Judd, get a warrant for this man's arrest and get him the fuck out of here, man. What are you talking about? I want you to be my wife and my love. Do you agree? First and foremost, why are you texting that? Like, if you're in a position where, like, you should be saying that to somebody, I don't know, that's like your girlfriend or something, you need to be saying shit like that in person and not over text message, man. Second off, why the fuck would you follow that up with, you looked like an innocent child to me. I loved you. I, like, like I, what the fuck is going on here? I, I don't even understand what circumstances could be happening where this is anything that should be getting 
being sent to anyone ever. Like, what the fuck is going on in this conversation? Like, what is the context? Regardless of it, this is illegal, bro. You are never going to see mine. Please stop asking. Please send me and I will stop asking. No, or else I'll send you my dick. No, wait, if you aren't sending me that, I will hack you. I'm a black hat hacker. In only four hours, I will hack you. I will get your address, your name, everything. Every, even, I can access your phone. All right, so first and foremost, obviously, this is not a black hat hacker, right? Like, this is not somebody capable of doing anything to anyone. This fucking idiot probably doesn't know how to open File Explorer on his computer. So, I mean, not really, I would say, a crazy deep threat, but it's just like, and these are the people who wonder, like, man, why can't I get a girlfriend, bro? Why can't I get some attention, right? It's probably got something to do with the fact that you are actually sexually harassing somebody at this point, right? Like, she has repeatedly told him no. And then his response is, I will only stop if you send, or else I will send you unsolicited pictures of my meat. And then goes on to proceed to threaten to commit a felony crime against her by hacking her and getting all of her docs. I, yeah, I wonder why no nobody wants to send you pics, bro. I wonder why nobody wants to fucking give you any attention, bro. You've rejected my follow request. Maybe with some info about me, you'll accept. Height, 5'9". Weight, 235 pounds. Country, USA. Religion, none. Politics, center-right. Cock length, 9 inches. Cock girth. 6.35 inches. Best feature, glutes slash cock. Worst feature, side delts. Fave color, purple. Fave movie genre, comedy. Fave music genre, country. Fave exercise, deadlift. Income, medium. Nickname one, Coke Can Greg. Nickname two, El Guapo. Personality type, friendly. Hey, you know what? Game is game, bro. I can't even say shit. Game is game. Bro's got 9 inches, 6.35 on the girth, 5'9", 235 pounds of pure American fucking brawn, brother. Get this man all the hoes. Immediately. Coke can Greg for fucking president, bro. I apologize that I have to say this out loud, but daddy wants to talk to you and treat you like you deserve. If you've been naughty, daddy will pull you over my knee and spank you and will use his fingers inside you, making you moan and scream. Oh, that was fucking... God damn. Oh, I hate my fucking life, man. I think that's the first time I've thrown up on fucking Mike, dude. I think that's the first time I've ever thrown up. All right, well, I got a mess to clean up, guys, so... Thank you for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like. Subscribe if you're brand new around here on the channel. Follow me on Twitter and Twitch at sub to Optimus. Make sure to check out Shoptimus down below. Uh, leave a like, please. I'm going to therapy.